So in today's video, we're going to be taking minnow baskets around to every creek in my hometown, dropping one off at each creek, maybe two off at each creek, and we're going to come back a few days, figure out what all we have caught, and take what we've caught fishing. <laughs> oh, yes sir! A little fish for big smalls. And we're going to have a live bait challenge. Stay tuned! are headed to Marvin's right now because where I want to put these fish baskets, we're not getting through there without a machete. All right guys, we're here. We've made it. We are here at Marvin's. All we've got to do is go in and get a machete. We're doing this guys. We're going to buy a machete. I mean, this is like, we're right around the corner from Halloween and this is like Jason Voorhees kind of stuff. We're either going to put out some fish baskets or make a slasher film. Let's go do the fish baskets for sure. Let's don't do the stuff. What's that? In our way? Nope. Gone. That in our way? Nope. Gone. Just gonna put it right there. Just make sure we tie it real snug. Yes, sir. First basket in the water. I told you guys I'd be sweating. I'm sweating. It's hot. We got the basket in the water. I think it's good. I put it in an awesome spot. I think that it's a bunch of deep water with some current flowing in, so there should be a ton of bait around it. I'm excited. I did notice that the holes for the entrance of the minnow trap, they're kind of tight, so I'm gonna see if I have one with a little bigger holes. Hopefully catch a bigger fish, but we shall see. All right, guys, last basket for this spot. I'm about to go put it in and we'll be done. Follow me? Oh, you're filming. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm just gonna tie to this same tree, but instead of being right under this current, I'm gonna chunk her on downstream a little bit and let it be out of that running water. We are done. All right, guys, so two baskets done today, and I feel very confident about those. And now we're gonna go to a buddy of mine's house and we're gonna drop one of these in like a swampy pond area. Five, zero, zero, yeah. Find out who your friends are. That dude always answers when I call him. He didn't answer. That's one of my best friends. Oh well, at least I got you guys. All right guys, so we're about to drop our third basket at our second spot. We've got an awesome looking pond. It looks like it's full of some creepy crawly critters. We're gonna see what we get. Hopefully we'll have something that we can catch a big one on. So we are at our fourth spot. Got our basket. See that hole? Just doop. Do the highlight right there, that's all you gotta do. All right, guys, so we got our basket. We found our probably most strategic spot because everywhere else is kind of shallow. This is the deepest water that we have. So we're going for it. I think that's perfect. Oh, I already got one. How crazy is that, guys? I literally, you just saw me put this in. Oh my gosh, dude, that is mind blowing. That was in there for what? Dude, that thing was in there for less than, less than 20 seconds. Okay, it's not going anywhere. All right, guys, we're done. Let me just do it. I'll straight football bear crawl up this thing. Ta -da! All right, guys, we're at the last spot. It's actually been kind of a long afternoon getting all these things put out. It's been a lot of work, but I've had a lot of fun because I know what's coming of it. We're gonna catch some awesome, awesome things. We've already caught one little fish in like 20 seconds. I guess you guys got to see that, but this is actually a pretty good sized creek, pretty good sized little stream, if you will. And I'm pretty excited about seeing what we get out of here. I know there's all kind of fish in here, so the sky's really the limit as far as what we can catch. Let's get it. Watch for snakes. Okay, well this ain't bad. All right, I'm gonna tie it to this thing right here, guys. Don't call me a tree hugger. 
That is it for today's video. We're gonna come back and get all these baskets in like three or four days, get all of our bait, and we're gonna head to the river and see if we can't catch some big slouches, fat sallies, big mamas, large mouth, show bass, spotted bass, whatever else. Anyway, I'm tired, I'm hot, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm going home, and I love you guys. Subscribe. All right, what's up guys? We are at my buddy's house. It is finally the day that we're gonna pull these baskets out. It feels like Christmas morning, it really does. I am more excited about seeing what's in these baskets than I am about going fishing. And that makes me feel like a child. And that's okay, because you guys are gonna like this. I've even got an aquarium. We're gonna be able to put these baits in the aquarium so it'll look like they're our pets before we... Never mind. It'll be good. Stay tuned. My buddy, Andrew, he bought chickens not too long ago, he bought, I can't remember how many he got. I think he got four. Yeah, he bought four chickens so that he didn't have to buy eggs. A really smart idea, uh, but he bought three roosters. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys know this or not, fun fact, roosters don't lay eggs. Hens lay eggs. My buddy's just been eating sausage and cheese biscuits. No sausage, egg and cheese biscuits. He hadn't been having egg sandwiches he's just been having sandwiches and he's not getting his protein basket number one has got me excited ladies and gentlemen i am ready i've got my little bucket so rule number one of doing something like this is watch out for snakes what wow dude that's crazy we got a ton of bait crawfish everywhere Nice. You guys ready for this? Sweet, dude. What is this? What is that? Guys, if any of you know what that is, please let me know. <clears throat> All right. Don't worry, guys. We'll get them a little extra water. And... Hopefully some extra friends. Hopefully in the meantime, they don't beat each other up. All right, guys, basket pool number two and three coming at you. Dude, I'm excited, man. Like, dude, I can't wait. Uh, not really a waterfall. It's just a, it's basically like shoals where rocks are just piled up and it's a lot of current going over the rocks. I mean, if you want to call it a waterfall, you can call it a waterfall. I don't like waterfalls. But listen, don't go chasing them. Don't chase waterfalls. Just stick to the rivers and the streams that you're used to. <laughs> now this tree right here, we got history. Moment of truth. Wow. Is there anything? Oh yeah, sweet. We got four crawfish and I didn't think we had a thing. That makes me feel better. Dude, these things are dark. Things are dark, guys. And what is that? I don't know that I've ever seen that on a crawfish. I ain't talking about the eyeballs. Listen guys, there's good news. No crawfish or fish has been harmed in the making of this video, yet. Smalls, as long as I've known you, cameraman Chris has never seen a crawfish until this day. Like ever seen a crawfish until this serious? day. So this is the first time. As many times as we fished and went to creeks and stuff as a kid? Yep. You've never seen one? No. Dang, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> that just blows my mind. Like, I would have taken these things to school with me if I could have after I caught them when I was a kid. <laughs> Guys, we caught a hot dog. Oh, I'm lying. Okay, we got one crawfish. Whew. Thought we were about to have to say we skunked. <laughs> I'm not saying that. On to the next. I like to say, oh, yes, sir. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's do the darn thing. I do it all day, make the sub button ding. All right, guys. So we are at spot number three. This is basket number four. Guys, so if you have a bunch of big frogs jumping in a pond, that's a pretty good indicator that you don't have a bunch of big fish. Because if you got a bunch of big fish, they're going to eat them frogs. So I would say that this pond probably doesn't have 
any fish in it anymore but when i was a kid we used to come out here and catch you know two and three pound bass out of this pond but this is what i'm excited for let's see what we got yes sir nice so we got our bluegill sweet dude i like it okay we are at the final spot we're about to pull out basket number five and number six and this is the creek that i grew up doing this in and i'm telling you like this is the one i'm most excited about i'm curious to see what we have i've caught a bunch of crazy stuff in this creek i hope we get something hope we get something nice whoa shoot i literally almost fell in this creek guys basket number one Kind of a bummer, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. So, we definitely have something in here that's pretty cool. Something that I haven't seen before. And I have no idea what it is. All right, so can somebody please tell me? All right, that's a brim, we know what that is. Oh, we know what that is. Oh, what is this? What the heck is that, dude? That's crazy. I have no idea what that is. Guys, if you know what this is, let me know in the comments. I've never caught one. I've never seen one. Another little crawfish. Another little crawfish. Another little crawfish. Oh, hot dog. Another little crawfish. Success, my friend. We got a lot of bait. But guys, we're about to head to the river. I'm going to take you guys to my absolute favorite spot it's gorgeous it is absolutely beautiful so in my town we have a bunch of old mills that are not in use anymore back in the day these mills had to make dams on the river to support the powerhouse and everything else for the mill so we've got some awesome 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 water rushing through some shoals got a big dam with a waterfall and some great 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 big shoal bass my absolute favorite fish to catch let's see what we can do Rule number one, fellas, do not forget this. Otherwise, in a way, you will be up a creek without a paddle. Welcome to my honey hole, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, we are ready. We're about to head up to the dam, and I believe we're going to catch some pretty good sized fish, so stay tuned. Look at that rod and reel. <laughs> we just found a rod and reel. So check this out, guys. Never mind. All right, guys. So ever since I was a kid, I've been doing this. This is kind of childish. But when I was a kid, I would have this minnow bucket. And I would always take one minnow out of that bucket to be the lucky one that gets to survive. So we're going to take a crawfish out. We're going to pick a lucky one. He gets to go home free. I think that's him. We're letting him go, guys. He's free. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, so what I have done is I have taken an octopus hook. It's a lot like a circle hook, but it's called an octopus hook, and I have rigged it exactly like a drop shot hook. It's going to catch me. What do you think we need to go with first, Chris? Well, we considering we have crawfish, crawfish and Craw. more crawfish i would probably go with a minnow <laughs> <laughs> i'm joking go with a crawfish oh he got me dude that <laughs> i didn't like that at all so guys whenever you're gonna rig these crawfish up rig them straight through the tail find you some good meat in there bait number one my friends i think i got one i got a fish fish on Let's go, baby. On the crawfish. Nice shoal bass, guys. This is what we came out here and we were after. Guys, there's only a few places in the entire world that you can catch this fish. Nice one, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, I got one on. Got him! <laughs> Fish on, baby! 
<laughs> oh, yes, sir. That's another show bass. Gosh, guys, I cannot get over it. These fish are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Guys, these fish right here, they hold an absolute special place in my heart. I have all my buddies around here, they ask me, you know, you're still going to certain parts of the river that don't have these fish, because it's not even every part of this river. There's only two certain parts of my river in my backyard that you can catch these fish. And I always tell my buddies, you know, I love largemouth and I love spots, you don't get me wrong, but these show bass are just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they you would think that they're smallmouth bass, but they are not, guys. They're a species of their own and they are super rare. One thing you'll be able to notice, so this fish right here, we're gonna put him in the live well, and you'll be able to tell later on, these fish get super dark in the live well, so they, they change, their colors change to their surroundings. So as soon as you put them in the live well, you shut that lid on the box and it gets dark in there, these fish are gonna get dark and they're gonna get beautiful. They're already beautiful, but they're gonna look super clean. You're gonna be able to see these lateral lines that run vertically instead of horizontally that's one way to tell that this is a shoal bass but i mean guys you can just look at him and tell that's all shoal bass yes sir baby how about that oh got one got him guys this feels like a better fish oh yes sir dang man these shoal bass are so strong that's definitely a better fish that may be the biggest one we got <laughs> nice. Ouch. Future toad mama. Today she just a bachelorette. Look at that live well, bro. Get your foot back in there. She could do it on camera. It scared me. <laughs> oh, got one. Oh. <laughs> How about that jump? Wow. I just don't know what to say, man. I have never had a day where I've come out here and caught this many show bass. Now granted, they're not the biggest show bass I've ever seen. If you wanna see the biggest show bass I've ever seen, look at my banner on the channel. Most of them are posted. But as far as just coming out here and having a day, me and Ayo, whenever he used to have his old channel, uh, we would come out here tr dreaming of a day like this and never had it. We just never got to come out here and just whack on them like this but they are biting right now, ladies and gentlemen. Fish on the Chattahoochee River are biting. And when they're biting, they're chalking it. That's another good one. Crawfish in the mouth. Oh. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I have had a blast coming out here today and catching these fish. Man, we've caught a ton. I don't know how many we've caught, guys, but we have worn them out today. Every one of them about this size, none of them the great big giants that live in here. There's some absolute trophy show bass that live in here, guys. But we've been catching them like this all day long, and we have had an absolute blast. These fish are beautiful. I love them. I love making the content, and I absolutely love you guys. You guys, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Tune in. We're gonna have some videos dropping very, very soon that you're not gonna wanna miss. Golly. All right, guys, you want to know how you know you whacked them? Well, your thumbs look like that, baby. Yes, sir. Fisherman's thumb, you want to know what we caught? I mean, it was a pretty darn good day. All shoal bass. No, no true trophies, but some absolutely solid fish for sure. And these things are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish, guys. I mean, these things look like tiger bass absolutely beautiful 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 fish we're about to get all of these guys released back into the water last two yes sir baby awesome day guys i'm absolutely ecstatic i'm so excited about this channel if you don't mind do me a favor hit like hit subscribe drop a comment tell you what we got to do some kind of like challenge tell you what guys if you get this video to four likes i'll come fishing again <laughs> peace
Peace.